Hello, it's me. Um, I am doing a snag it for Delena um, explaining the code V89. This is going to be so quick, you're not going to believe it. All right, so V89 is basically a code that we use when we have suspected there's something wrong with it, either a pregnant mom or her fetus, or both. And when we go in and do all of the testing, we find that there's nothing there, that, that they don't have the condition we thought they had. Um, we still have to evaluate them. If we evaluate them, we should be able to be reimbursed for that, A. And B, we need to be able to definitely have it in our um, uh, statistical data and that and capture it that way and that's probably that's that's the most important right because that's why we do this coding that's why it came out we, yes we do it for reimbursement but we also do it for statistical data pregnant moms are one that they really track and really watch so um, V89 is used when you have a pregnant mom and you think there's something wrong with either her or the baby, you go in and do the testing and there's nothing there. So if you start to look at these descriptors, V89.01, suspected problem with amniotic cavity and membrane not found. V89.03, suspected fetal anomaly not found. V89.05, suspected cervical shortening, not found. So it starts to make a little bit of sense. So if you have a, a situation where you, the doctor says suspect whatnot. Now typically we code suspected um, if we haven't done the testing, right? We code it as if it's there. So if it says a patient has suspected brain tumor, but we don't rule that out, or probable brain tumor, we code it as if it's there, correct? Then the opposite, if we have a suspected brain tumor and we do an MRI and they rule it out, then we don't code it. In this situation, we, we, we do because we want to see, hey, what's going on? We really track moms. So um, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know.